in this world, there are two types of men. There are alphas and there are betas. Alphas are strong, betas are weak. You know, there's certain things I absolutely hate in this world. Brussels sprouts, pot noodle, narcissistic people. Yes, I'm looking at you, Trump, when I said that. Oh, and self-proclaimed alpha males. So today, I'm talking about those guys. Hello, I'm Mr. G, and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today, I'm talking about those men who think they are stronger and better than anyone else on the planet. That's right, those men who declare themselves to be alpha. I took a look at some of those candidates of those people that were atypical on YouTube and Twitter, starting with this guy, Alpha M. Alpha M, whose real name is Aaron Marino, is a self-appointed alpha male guru who runs a YouTube channel where he gives out advice on how to be an alpha male. Looking at his channel, he covers a variety of subjects such as grooming, style and advice on how to become a successful alpha male. So let's take a look at one of these videos. Gentlemen, today I'm going to go over seven signs that you are indeed alpha or potentially a little beta. Number one, alphas are leaders. They're leaders in their peer group, they're leaders at work, they're leaders in society. Betas are followers. Betas just do what they need to do in order to get by. They don't want to rock the boat. Alphas are strong. They take control of situations. Alphas speak up and stand up for what's right. They don't just keep their mouth shut when they see an injustice or something that's not right. They take care of themselves, but they also take care of other people, which is number two. Did he actually stick two fingers up at the audience just then? Let's run that clip again. Which is number two. Yeah, he did. Mate, seriously, etiquette rule number one. Don't give your audience the two finger salute. It's regarded as rude. Alphas are caring, they're compassionate, they take care of other people, not just themselves. Betas aren't worried about anything else. They don't care how something affects other people. It's all about them. Betas are egotistical and self-centered. Alphas think about the greater good. It's not just about them and how things affect them. They're there to be a benefit to other people. Instead of trying to keep somebody down, they grab their hand, lift them up and say, come on amigo, we're going to kick ass together. Just because in your eyes a man is a beater, that doesn't make you weak in any shape or form. I know people will look at me and think I'm weak, but I know damn well I'm not. You see, if I see something wrong, I will stand up and I will call it out. That doesn't mean I'm an alpha. It just means I won't sit there and take the crap from people. And I know a lot of people who care for each other, look out for their mates, pull up somebody when they're fallen. That doesn't make them alphas. That just means that they are decent human beings. One thing I noticed watching a lot of these videos is he talks really loud all the time to get his point across. That doesn't make you an alpha. That just makes you a annoying twat. Another self-proclaimed alpha I came across whilst looking into the subject was a guy called Elliot Hulse. Elliot Hulse is another who describes himself as a strong man and a strength coach. He has a big following. Elliot did a recent interview via YouTube, so let's take a little peek at that. A post you put on Instagram a few weeks ago was a picture of you and American flag behind you, and you said, make America alpha again. Mm -hmm. What did you mean by that? We're living in a time of breakdown. Men are demonized, women are victimized, or there's not as many male role models. Boys need to be taught how to be men. I've got two sons, and I'm thinking, how do I raise men? Did you circumcise them? And circumcision is violence towards his sexuality. What is that saying to the world about the value of men? There's a point where a male-only kind of dominant society does hurt itself. No? Should women have the right to vote? I'm gonna pass on that one. It's not about sexism, it's a spiritual battle. The fact that he didn't even say yes to that question makes me feel that he doesn't believe that women should have the vote. If your answer is not, yes, I believe that women should have the vote, means that between the lines, you think that women are second-class citizens. My third person isn't a stranger to my channel, as I only covered him in my last video, and that is Jared Alpha, aka Alpha Genesis. Now, if you watched that video, you may remember he said some vile things, but even he believes he is some form of alpha male. All right, so here's the thing. Um, I was talking to my friend, a uh, good friend of mine, Pip Bulljor, Shout out to his channel, um, and we were discussing this guy who was trying to get views off me uh, by the name of Surviving Life, uh, which, by the way, very interesting name, uh, Surviving Life, you know. I guess beta males, you know, they really have to work hard on surviving, you know, when there's alphas like me and Pitbull getting all the women 
So they got to really work hard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like I can imagine him fighting off a ton of women every single day. It won't be surprising if Jared is in fact single, especially of the things that come to light after what he said in his recent live streams. You see, unfortunately, Jared is what is known as a incel, where he is one of those men that blames women for their problems, like he did in a recent video. How's it going, y'all? It's Jared Genesis. i uh, got another serious video today. And, you know, it's funny. This one actually goes out to my haters, but it's a positive video. This is not a negative video. So basically it's this, uh, I could tell a lot of my haters recently are basically women who are victims of sexual abuse, as well as simps who defend them, but we're not really talking about them today. Uh, you know, really pretty young ladies too, it's just, it's kind of sad seeing that on my channel, you know. Moving on to Twitter now, and I want to talk about Noah. No, not that Noah, but this one. Noah Revoy, who described himself on his Twitter profile as a patriarch, husband, father of three sons, entrepreneur, life, love and relationship coach. Noah has a habit of posting tweets such as these from August. Fear? Why would I fear women? Average men have 40% upper body strength than average women, and I'm far from above the average man. So what are you going to do then, Noah? Slap a woman around until they submit to your patriarchal rule? And if you think you are stronger than the average man, I'm going to set this little challenge for you. I want you to find a female weightlifter and find out which out of the two of you are the stronger. Women need the boundaries of the patriarchy and a mission in life which usually is a husband, children and home. Absent such structure, they malfunction and destroy civilizations. Uh, no. I think the only thing that tears down civilizations is over-aggressive males who want to tear down establishments like the Visigoths did to the Romans. I replied to him on Twitter with this. So you don't believe in equality ever then? So how would you feel if you had daughters instead of sons? Feminism is about equality of women. Why is this a bad thing? He replied with, For feminists, the truth is what you believe and how you feel. Truth doesn't care about your feelings or your beliefs. Truth is objective and measurable. To maintain their level of delusion, feminists must reject objective reality and focus on the manipulation of feelings. Wait, what? Truth isn't based on what you believe or what you feel. Truth is based on actual facts. And a fun fact for you, women should be treated equally to a man. It's not the dark ages anymore where women are subservient to men. I wonder if he knows Laurie Alexander, the, aka the transformed wife. I'm pretty certain that them two would get on like a house on fire. Judging by the thousands of comments I've gotten, these are the three things feminists hate. One, white. Two, men. Free fathers. If they already hate you, why bother to cooperate or please them? Why help them? No, here are the three things that feminists hate. Patriarchal clowns like you. Number two, men who think they are better than women. And number three, not having the empowerment to control their own lives and destinies. Unfortunately, Noah attracts guys like this, who try to embarrass me with this tweet. Don't give up. This guy needs our help. He will soon accept that being a cut feminist ally doesn't get him pussy. He's desperate for. We should open doors to him. Invite him to be a real man. I mean, look. Taking a look at this guy's profile picture. If he looks like an incel, talks like an incel, the chances are he's an incel. Well, Noah and your followers, I hate to break it to you, but the world isn't dominated by men anymore. That world is over. Embrace the new era. I have actually got three tips for you self-appointed alpha males. Tip number one, always be polite as manners cost you nothing. Tip number two, always wash your hands after you've been to the toilet. And number three, most important of all, don't be a cunt. So what do you think to these self-appointed alpha males? Do you think they are right to be the way they are? Or do you think they're just dinosaurs? I would love to hear from you about this. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.